balcony at Buckingham Palace looked more than a little crowded. There are persistent reports that King Charles is planning drastic cuts to the number of working royals on the public payroll. And don't expect the Duke of York to make a comeback. Buckingham Palace has announced that Prince Andrew is returning his royal and military titles to the Queen and will no longer be referred to as His Royal Highness in any official capacity. I think the sadness for the Queen is that her favourite son was basically the first member of the royal family ever to be sacked. Andrew Morton has just written a new biography on the Queen. A mother always forgives her children and never was that more the case than with Prince Andrew. The King did allow his wayward brother to wear a uniform at the vigil for the Queen, but there was no such exemption for the funeral itself. I'm sure he felt utterly humiliated on that walk from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. His brother and his nephew saluted the cenotaph, but he was not able to do so. Before her death, the Queen is said to have supported Andrew with her private income from the Duchy of Lancaster. There's no guarantee Charles will do the same. Do you think Charles... will be able to bring his two boys back together? $64,000 question is, will there be a reconciliation between William and Harry? And will King Charles help to engineer that? Well, I think that there are many stumbling blocks ahead. And the biggest stumbling block? Harry's upcoming memoir. If it's yet another salvo against his father, against his brother, then I think the rift will be even wider. Harry and Meghan have lost their greatest supporter in the Queen. She was the one who always held out an olive branch, and now she's gone. Whether Harry will have the same response from his brother and from his father remains to be seen. Despite the public display of unity, Morton detects a certain frostiness between the brothers and their wives. The body language between Meghan, Harry, William and Catherine, when they looked at the flowers and met well-wishers at the long walk at Windsor Castle, told you quite a lot. There was very little conversation. The body language was awkward. Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan will head back to California, where they are effectively the untitled King and Queen of California. To come back into the royal fold, they've got to take second or third billing, whereas at the moment, they're stars of their own show. Now, you might be thinking that the royals have an easy life. Well, you be the judge. Last year, they attended almost 2,300 official engagements. For that, they get $143 million a year from British taxpayers in what's known as the Sovereign Grant. But if Charles decides to downsize the monarchy, that workload could dramatically increase, with as many as 15 senior royals rumoured to be soon taken off the royal roster and payroll. Clearing out the palace balcony from this to this. William and Kate, Anne, Edward and Sophie, and of course, Charles and Camilla. It's been an extraordinary trajectory for Camilla, from being dubbed the Rottweiler by Diana, having bread rolls thrown at her in a supermarket in the west of England. I disapprove of the way Charles and Camilla treated Diana. To this woman who's now put on a pedestal, along with King Charles III, seen as someone who is basically a good egg, someone who plays the game, is fun, is funny. I think she's a nice person, very intelligent, and, and she's humorous. Women of my age are pretty peed off with her. Am I allowed to say that? And, um, yeah, but I think there's been a lot of forgiveness because he's such a great guy. She has literally lived the Queen's mantra, which is keep calm and carry on, and it's really worked. Yes, keep calm and carry on and never complain, never explain. And what of Charles himself? Could he ever hope to replace his beloved mother in the hearts of his loyal subjects? I was down at Buckingham Palace the other day and Prince Charles comes out of his car, starts shaking people's hands, and he's kissed by a member of the public. Now. I've attended a number of walkabouts in my time and I've never seen the Queen being kissed by a member of the public, so a different tone, a different style. How will he cope with that? How will he respond? Well, if they keep the ink pens away from him, we'll be all right. <laughs>